morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me. I'm back again with another uh, short comment. Uh, you know, it's interesting how this society has been dumbed down and how up is down and down is up. However, I've always had the premise that this country was started by narcissists. And I hope it doesn't end <laughs> with se uh, f severe narcissists, meaning that severe personality disorder person that's in office. Um, I mean, first of all, I'm just so disappointed in the American public that would in just 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 elect. Well, I know with the Russians help a psychopath. Um, to be our president <laughs> or the president of these United States. Let's put it like this. There is no way in hell anybody would, any sane, rational person would even think that somebody that has never been in politics who is as dumb and crazy as Donald Trump, a game show host, could uh, surpass and do more with ex with uh, pol politics and more than people who have made this a lifelong commitment and who are committed to the United States of America at least trying to change it. So, what it tells me is that the American public have been s is sunk so low as if we just some human pigs, human garbage disposals that we would even accept this, and this is a sign of power to the majority of people. I personally believe it's because civics was taken out of the school, and so for the last 20 years, especially if you're dealing with, um, unless your kid went to a private school or a uh, school that was, um, you know, um, I guess, a progressive, you, you, you got a lot of dummies that really don't know the bodies of government, how it operates, because you got people thinking that the Democrats or whoever, because all these li titles are e um, evasive and dividing, but the fact that you got people who think it's, it's okay when the person that you put in office is abusing the a position, abusing the people, going, going gung-ho and turning rogue, that there's not a process to see and to investigate what this is about. These people are so crazy, they think that that's not even a real phenomenon. And so what they're complaining against is because they don't think that the American public should have the right to even do this. When these things were set up in place you know, hundreds of years ago, thanks to our founding fathers, right? Okay. So we got a rogue president who is hypnotized with hatred, as Bootsy, Collins, as Bootsy would say. Hypnotized with hatred. He's insane. Uh, he has never spent a day in service at all. He might, his daddy might have sent him to some military academy or military school, but he's never had a to go to war, like my uncles them that got shot in Vietnam. or He's never had to experience war. So he's playing with lies and acting like he's so American when really he ain't shit. Because he, he, none of, he's not relating to anybody at all. Except for people who are just bloodthirsty. Now, he's gaslighting America. And when you got a person like this up in office, for those of us who know, um, it's like you walking on eggshells just being around them. So now we got somebody that's running a country that's making people in the country and outside the country feel like they're walking on eggshells because he's so damn crazy, you don't know what the hell he's going to do next. This is not a way to live. And it's got nothing to do with if you bipartisan or if you're a pub Republican or a Democrat. Are you crazy or are you not crazy? This is what the question should come down to because you know what? And I'm just going to tell you how I feel. White people play a lot of games with a lot of words. And they have a lot of word salad to make up craziness to keep you uh you know word semantic down when you can just make it plain as Malcolm X said make it plain what the hell are you saying and 
This is how we feel about it. Now, at this point, I'm really, 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 I'm really um, disappointed in the American people. I'm disappointed in how, uh, but I, you know what? But there's a little optimism in me left because I see people do want the majority of people, the numbers are starting to come around that they want him impeached and removed. So this guy is out of his mind. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because Republicans rebel over Syria. Lindsey Graham threatened to be Trump's worst nightmare for the slaughter of the Kurds and House uh, votes overwhelmingly to rebuke the president who slams Kurdish allies as they're no angels and invites Russia to intervene. President Donald Trump faced a Republican rebellion Wednesday over his sudden withdrawal of U.S. forces from Syria as a lopsided House majority condemned the move and ally Senator Lindsey Graham vowed to be Trump's worst nightmare to protect the Kurds. Graham, who has been Trump's ally in fending off the Russian probe, blasted the president for abandoning Kurdish allies in Syria in an interview with the Christian Broadcasting Network, where evan evangelical leaders have been voicing concerns about the risk to minorities, including Christians in the religion. I will do anything I can to help him, but I will also become the president's worst nightmare, Graham vowed. I will not sit along the sidelines and watch a good ally, the Kurds, be slaughtered by Turkey. Graham continued, this is a defining moment for President Trump. He needs to step up his game. Another forceful rebuke came in the vote tally for a House resolution to oppose the decision to end certain United States efforts to prevent Turkish military operations against Syrian Kurdish forces in North Syria. After getting fast-tracked to the floor by the House Senate, Nancy Pelosi, and Nancy Pelosi, the resolution was backed by 354 lawmakers, with 60 voting against. The resolution said the Kurds fought courageously against the brutality of ISIS. The resolution quotes from the surprise White House statement that announced the coming operation by Turkey and caused the United States to continue supporting Syrian Kurdish communities through humanitarian support, including to those displaced or otherwise affected by the ongoing violence in Syria. It also calls on the White House to present a clear and specific plan for the enduring defeat of ISIS amid fierce captured fighters will get a chance to renew territorial gains that it had been wiped out. Well, of course, you know, Trump don't want nobody telling him what to do, so it's going to be a problem. Among Republicans, 129 vote for it and 60 against. The action came on a day when Trump blasted Graham, a frequent golf partner and ally in fending off the Miller inquiry. Graham chairs the Senate Judiciary Committee and has said that he wants to probe an alleged FBI misconduct as Trump wants him to. Lindsey Graham would like to stay in the Middle East for the next thousands of years with thousands of soldiers and fighting other people's wars, Trump snapped. I want to get out of the Middle East. I think Lindsey should focus right now on the judiciary like the Democrats, the do-nothing Democrats. Trump admonished Graham. I think Lindsey should focus on the judiciary. He ought to find out about what happened with Comey, what happened with McCabe, Lisa what happened with Peter Strzok, and what happened with President Obama? What happened? This fucking idiot is obsessed with Obama. What happened with Brennan? Trump said, firing off names of national security and FBI officials from the Obama era, who he blames for the Russian probe. Y'all, we got a damn a crazy, sick narcissist in the White House, like I said. The narcissist put us here. They created all this division, okay, between black, white, rich, poor, Democrat, Republican. You know, it's just all a cesspool of filth and shame. What? That's what Lindsay ought to focus on. 
That's what the people of South Carolina want him to stay focused on. The people of South Carolina don't want us to get into a war with Turkey, a NATO member, or with Syria. Let them fight their own wars. They've been fighting for a thousand years. Let them fight their own wars. The people of South Carolina want to see the troops come home. And I won an election based on that. And that's the way it is. Whether it's good or bad, that's the way it is. At a White House press conference Wednesday, Trump welcomed further Russian military intervention in Syria as Moscow teams with Syria dictator Bashar al-Assad and U.S. rival Iran to counter Turkey's attack on Kurds in Syrian territory. Um, <laughs> this is crazy, ain't it? I mean, um, anyway, uh, conflagration, which a conflagration, which Trump proclaimed, welcome to it. The president attacked U.S. allied Kurdish fighters as no angels and described them as mercenary force even as critics from both parties lamented a policy shift as leaving them victim to slaughter at the hands of the Turks. Syria has a relationship with the Kurds, who, by the way, are not angels, Trump told a reporter alongside Italian President Sergio Mattarella. Who is an angel? There aren't too many around. I'm surprised he didn't say, but I am. You know, I'm, and my, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an angel. I'm the head angel but syria has a relationship with the kurds so they'll come in for their border and they'll fight trump said this is crazy they may bring partners in they could bring russia in and i say welcome to it trump continued earlier in the day comparing the area to a lot of sand that they got plenty that various sides can play in. Oh my God. This is your president of the United States of America. So now I'm at the point now, I, you know, really, I've been at the point for a long time. You can just draw the line and stand. Take all these titles off because I really don't give a damn about them. Either you stand for humanitarian and, and, and human being. Or, you a racist pig, and you are a demagogue, a narcissist, a person who have been so damaged that you welcome being gaslit, you welcome being lied to, you welcome being deceived, because there's nothing really he's doing that's helping anybody besides himself. Nothing. Not doing anything to help the country. He's, everything he's doing is to benefit himself. And we're so stupid, we would even allow this dummy, this game show, game stupid uh, apprentice dude to be the president. He's got no presidential behavior, no presidential mindset, and we're stupid enough to elect this guy for the president of the United States. Oh, well. Oh, well. Like what you hear? Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't let Donald Trump drive you too crazy like he's done me. I'll just say that. Um, but I'll see you in the next video.